listen up. You can pour drinks on me. You can throw food at me. You can even spit on me. I'll just laugh that stuff off. But good reason or not, nobody hurts a friend of mine. Hello and welcome to One Piece 101, the series that breaks down everyone and everything in the One Piece world. Today we're taking a look at the man who inspired Luffy to become a pirate, Red Haired Shanks. Shanks is an incredibly laid-back pirate who the audience is introduced to in the very first chapter of the series, wearing Luffy's trademark straw hat, actually. As captain of the Red Haired Pirates, he decided to make Luffy's hometown of Fuchsia Village in East Blue their home base for some time. And long story short, during this time Luffy got into a bit of trouble, also accidentally eating a devil fruit and being left at the mercy of the Lord of the Coast. Luffy was saved by Shanks, however it cost Shanks his left arm. The loss of Shanks' arm caused quite a stir in the One Piece world at large. Unknown to both Luffy and the audience at the time, Shanks was an exceptionally powerful and well-known pirate. A lot of his notoriety stemmed from the fact that he was part of the Pirate King, Goldie Rogers' crew, and assumedly knows where and what the One Piece actually is. Alongside Buggy the Clown, Shanks joined Rogers' crew as a cabin boy. He and Buggy would often argue aboard the ship over fairly stupid things, such as which pole is colder, the North or the South. Which, by the way, is 100% the South Pole, and Shanks was right. Also, at at least one point, Shanks was actually responsible for saving Buggy's life whilst part of the Roger Pirates. It's unknown exactly how strong Shanks was in comparison to the rest of the Roger Pirates, nor is it known if he ever really rose beyond the rank of cabin boy while he was with the crew. However, at some stage during their journey, Roger gave Shanks his straw hat, which many, many years later, Shanks would pass down to Luffy. So the Pirate King definitely saw something special in young Shanks. After the Roger Pirates were disbanded and Roger himself executed, Shanks started his own crew and became famous in his own right. His main crew thus far consists of Yasop, who is the father of Usopp, Ben Beckman, and Lucky Roo. It is assumed that the Red Haired Pirates have several other exceptionally infamous members, however at this stage they remain largely unnamed, with the exception of a rookie pirate named Rockstar. Shanks himself would become so infamous that he would eventually gain the title of Yonko, or one of the four emperors of the New World, and thus was considered to be one of the four most powerful pirates in the world. With this in mind, the idea that he would lose his arm in East Blue, which was known for being the weakest of the four seas, was absolutely inconceivable, particularly to close rival Drake or Mihawk. Shanks and Mihawk were known to duel each other on many occasions, with the battle set to echo throughout the Grand Line. However, after Shanks lost his left arm, Mihawk gave up on further pursuit of their rivalry. The speculation behind Mihawk's decision is that Shanks may have been left-handed, as he is always shown holding his sword in his left hand during flashbacks. Now this is quite interesting, because while relatively no information is known about Shanks in combat, what we have here is evidence that Shanks was a swordsman, and was more than likely in contention for the title of world's greatest swordsman, which eventually became Mihawk's. And in the current timeline itself, he has also used a sword in a skirmish against Whitebeard, as well as in the Battle of Marineford to block Akainu. Apart from the evidence of swordsmanship, it's a complete mystery as to how Shanks fights. As far as the audience is aware, he hasn't eaten a devil fruit, however like most top tier combatants of the One Piece world, he does appear to have a mastery over all three types of haki. In terms of relationships with his fellow emperors, Shanks appears to view most as enemies, although he did have great respect for the former Emperor Whitebeard, going so far as to face off against Kaido for the opportunity to stop the battle for Marineford, and thus Whitebeard's death. Furthermore, he then went on to facilitate both Whitebeard and Ace's burials, and appears to be on good terms with the remnants of the Whitebeard pirates. Nothing has been said about his relationship to Charlotte Linlin, however he does have a history with the final Yonko Blackbeard. In fact, Blackbeard is the person responsible for giving Shanks that scar across his face, and it is implied that Shanks understands the exact danger of Blackbeard far more than any other character in the series so far. In a similar vein, Shanks appears to be one of the few people to understand the potential and or destiny of Luffy. For example, Shanks praised Kobe at the Battle of Marineford for distracting Akainu long enough for him to arrive, thus ensuring Luffy's escape. Shanks even noted that the young Marine had changed the fate of the world. And Shanks definitely has had faith in Luffy since he first met the young boy. When questioned about how he lost his arm, Shanks prefers to call it an investment in the future. 
Furthermore, the decision to trust Luffy with the straw hat that Roger entrusted to him was certainly not made lightly at all. And as a result, Shanks has kept quite a close eye on Luffy throughout his entire career as a pirate and is often seen reacting to his updated bounties with a smile on his face. With all of this in mind, Shanks' exact motivation for becoming a pirate as well as an emperor of the New World is unclear. Most powerful pirates in the One Piece world have a common motivation for their actions, and that is to become the Pirate King. There are some exceptions to this, such as Whitebeard, whose only desire was to have a family, but we've never really been given an insight into the force that drives Shanks. Some more fun facts about Shanks. While it wouldn't become clear to the audience until more than a decade later, Shanks is the first character to be seen using Haki in the series, when he used Conqueror's Haki against the Lord of the Coast way back in Chapter 1. At 39 years old, Shanks is the youngest known character to be considered one of the four emperors, narrowly beating out Blackbeard who was 40 years old. In fact, that's just Shanks' current age, and he was at most 37 years old when he attained the title. It just so happens that Shanks shares a birthday with his longtime rival, Dracul Mihawk. That day is the 9th of March, which is also Frankie's birthday, so we have a very packed day happening there. And finally, in a very Harry Potter sort of way, Shanks' scar seems to tingle when Blackbeard is present. It's a very easy to miss little detail actually, but essentially, when Shanks confronted Blackbeard at Marineford, the word Zuki appeared to be emitting from the scar, which is a Japanese onomatopoeia for sharp pain. And that about does it for Red-Haired Shanks, for now anyway. Despite having been introduced over two decades ago, right at the dawn of One Piece, he remains one of the most mysterious characters in the series, and we've only barely scratched the surface of this key character. If you enjoyed this video, then please feel free to like, favorite, or subscribe, and comment with who, what, or where you'd like to see featured in the next One Piece 101.